Okay, good day everybody. We are back in Eternal Threads. Uh, last time we uh, made quite a few changes and managed to save Linda. Um, we're almost at the point where we can actually make our choices, you know, rather than just watching what's happening. Um, Because even though we saved Linda at the moment, that, that, that doesn't mean that we won't make a change at some point, which puts her back in danger, but we'll have to wait till we get to that point. So it's not too far away now, we're on day five out of six, slash seven. Um, yeah, right, well, let, let's get going, shall we? So, what was this one? Oh, this was, uh, yeah, Ben was talking to his father, well, his mother about his father leaving the practice to him. Okay, bathroom. Day six, Monday, 0731. Location, bathroom. Oh, it's not, it's Raquel, okay. Okay, it's only an archer. Be cool. Relaxed. Aloof. That's it. Nailed it. Raquel. Reflex. Did we pick up this before? I don't know. Then. Uh, I ran. Hapam. Hmm. I, I think I must have because I've opened the um, cupboard. Don't remember it. Uh, right, next. I wonder if Raquel's going to ask Tom for some uh, something to help her relax, should we say. Can't forget that one. Ben and Jenny's room. Day 6, Monday, 0832. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Oh, she's using the camera. If I stand here, she's going to get a picture of me. Oh, oh brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Okay, a notable camera. Event 130, the hall. Day 6, Monday, 0846, location, hall. taking a picture of just the doorway oh is she gonna make her way down to the basement Backyard. Day six, Monday, O nine, O three. Location, backyard. What are you doing out here? Oh, 
I, I... I thought I heard something. Must have been a cat. And, er... Uh, why the camera? Oh, it's... Uh, it's something for Raquel. Something, uh, arty? think so. I don't really know. Oh, are you her muse or Raquel's doll? Uh. So, are you the great artist's muse? <laughs> No, I don't think so. More like the great artist's dog's body. <laughs> dog's body. That's probably why you're chasing cats. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Must have been a cat. Right, oh, let's see the other option now. Raquel's doll. Um, you know when Kieran was here? Yeah. I uh, overheard him talking with Raquel about that doll of hers. Oh. Oh, right. And uh, Raquel called the doll Megan. Oh. That was her friend, wasn't it? The one who died. Yeah, it was. I, um, I just thought it was odd. I mean, I didn't say anything, not in front of Kieran, but I thought I'd better tell you. No, I understand. Leave it with me. I'll I'll talk to her about it. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Hmm. Maybe it's her way of coping. I I don't know about psychiatry, so or psychology, rather, whichever one it would be. Uh, ben and Jenny's room. Day six, Monday, 10.15. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Sorry, Ray, I'm just on my way now. Um, yeah, I'll grab it now. Um, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Didn't bust any ghosts, but I've left the camera in the dark room. Great. Well, I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Bye. That note could prove very useful, 43. Let's still there. Ah, oh, here we go. In the dark room. Here's the camera as promised. Remember to wind it on after each use. When you finish, leave the camera in the dark room and I'll develop the film later. 51 left, 38 right, 50, 46 left. Raquel. So 51, 38, 46. Do -do. Okay. Oh, I didn't have to remember it. Okay. Alright, here we go. A new place to explore. Ah, oh, is this the camera? Possibly. Fix. Whoops, put that way. Hmm. Locked. Hmm. It is very secure down here, forty three. I wonder what Tom keeps inside. Hmm. Uh, what have we got here? Okay. Looks like the school grounds. Oh, that one looks like the inside of the house. Uh, oh, and that's the backyard. Hmm. 
don't see anything. Well, okay. I'm not going to say weird, but <laughs> not sure about that one. Uh, what's this one? Hmm. Inside of a building, obviously. But okay, I was look hoping for something a bit more eventful, but hmm. Well, actually, I think now doesn't that mean we can view that one that was in the dark room? Uh, this one, event 109. Let's see if there's any others that have come to light. Event 84. That's in the dark room. Uh, don't see any more. Hey, what's this one? Oh, the hidden room. It says we can view it, but that's not the case because we can't get in there. Let's let's see what happens. Day one, Wednesday, eleven oh four. Location: hidden room. Hey, what's this? I don't remember seeing those plastic bags before. Yeah, no, we still can't get in there. Okay. Right, well, 8 of an 84 it is. Uh... AC... 4, here we go. Day 4, Saturday, 10, 18. Location, dark room. Okay, so... Oh, it's the one where Raquel showing... Uh, Kieran, how developing works. They're probably not that eventful, but... So next, we put the paper in the developer tray. Then we watch. And we wait. Oh, wow. Yeah. It always feels like magic to me, too. And when you've got the right level of contrast, you take it out and put it in the stop tray. So, do you do this a lot? Not always. I mean, digital photography is so much simpler and quicker, but there's something special about real film. Raquel, is my mum okay? Yeah, I just, I think she's a little unsure of her life at the moment. Like, there's some bits she doesn't like, but she doesn't know how to change them. She, she just needs some time to think. Am I one of those bits? Oh, God, no. I think you're the one thing she's absolutely sure about. Yeah? Yeah. Don't worry about it. This happens to everyone at some point. Though, when men do it, they usually end up buying motorbikes or sports cars. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, in the dark. Hmm. Alright. What other ones have we got open up? There's one further this way, but 109, that's it. Day five. Sunday, oh, that's hidden room. Eleven forty-eight. Um, not hidden room. There was one. This one. Landing. Why didn't we view Day this six, one before? Monday, ten thirty. Location landing. That's weird. I mean, it must have opened up because of something. Oh, I don't know. time it is, Linda. Yeah, sure. It's half ten. Shit. I'm bloody lay. Do you want a lift? Is that okay? It's fine with me. Go get dressed. I'll get the car started. You are bloody brilliant, you are. I know.
White rabbit. Fair enough. What? This clock's annoying the crap out of me. Um, next. I don't know why I hadn't viewed that one. It, it must have been, as say, a, a decision that I've made previous that's made that one become available. Oh, hey, this one here. Kitchen. Oh. Day six, Monday, 12.46. Location, kitchen. What is happening here? Are you okay down there? Uh, yeah, I just... What have you lost? Wedding ring. Took it off to do the dishes, then knocked it off the top and it rolled under here. Okay, I think I see it. Hold on a second. Almost. Almost. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Though we should probably stand up now. Okay. I was on my knees, about to give you a ring. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit fast, <laughs> even for me. Yeah. Thanks so much. No problem. <laughs> Are you okay? Down there. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Somehow learn to retrieve the wedding ring from under the fridge. Uh, okay, event 144, backyard. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, that was the next one. That's why I hadn't viewed that one yet. I swear there was another one that opened up that was in the dark room. Uh, that one's the hidden room? Yeah. Um... Interesting that it says... So if I change this to Tom denied his... Can I view that one? No. I can view this one now. No, let's, let's not change stuff just yet. As fun as that might be. Oh! Uh, right, so... Event 144, the backyard. Day 6, Monday, 2208. Location, backyard. Oh, weasel. Who's this? Your accountant? I'm Tom's friend. Ah, well done, Tanky. You've got a friend. I'm also a doctor. Oh, that's handy. Because Tank will need one if he hasn't got my money. There you go. Now, that's what I'm talking about, Tanky. Wait, what is this? 200 pounds. Two grand, Tank. I want my two grand. Where's the rest? That's all I've got. And for the help you gave him, that's a fair payment. A consultancy fee, really. I don't want no fucking consultancy fee. I want my two grand, or the drug squad get a call and they come break your door in. You do realise it's medicine from a mother? Well, if you really love your mummy, tanky boy, you better find the money. You've had all the money you're going to get. You better shut the fuck up, Doc, or you're going to end up in the fucking hospital yourself. Do you know Big Mick? Yeah, what? Runs that club down Brunswick. Controls most of the drug trade in the city. Quite a legendary temper as well, I heard. Yeah, I know Mick. He's got a young daughter. I was on A&E when he brought her in. She was convulsing and foaming at the mouth. He carried her in his arms the whole way there. And your point is? Well, I didn't know who he was then. I found out later. So when he said to me, Doc, you saved my little girl. You ever need anything, you just ask. I didn't think anything of it, but I'm thinking about it now. I think if Mick found out you were talking to the police, well, that'd be bad. But if I told him you were blackmailing a friend of mine who was just trying to look after his sick mother, that'd be so much worse. Okay. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay. I'll take the fucking consultancy fee. And we'll hear no more about it. As long as Mick don't hear nothing. That's the deal. That's the deal. Good. Glad we could come to an agreement. 
Hey, go Ben. <laughs> Doc versus Weasel. Nice. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to come back to bite us somehow. Monday, 2230. Location, kitchen. Ah, uh, looks like they're ce celebrating. The duck was amazing. He pulled some serious Godfather level shit on him. Really? <laughs> yeah. About how he'd saved some gangster's daughter and he owed him big time. Bloody hell. Shame it wasn't true. What? Well, the story was true. It just didn't happen to me. Let's just say there's a consultant at the hospital who drives around in a very nice car. So, you bluffed him? Pretty much. Ooh. Why me not to play cards with you? Uh, how the hell did you stay that calm? Uh, part of my job is, is, you know, delivering bad news. Really devastating news. So compared to that, you, your weasley little blackmailer wasn't even on the same scale. <laughs> you got a promise though. Not a word of this gets back to Jenny, okay? Sure thing. Raquel? I can't promise that. You can't tell her. I'm not planning on it, but she's my best friend. If a judge that she needs to know, then I'll have to tell her. I can't think of any circumstances where she'd need to know, but I can't promise not to. <laughs> so, you won't tell her unless you absolutely have to? That's right. That's good enough for me. You got another beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, sh sure. <laughs> A very nice car. Hmm. Ben revealed he was actually bluffing when, the, when he blackmailed Weasel. Okay, day six. Bathroom. Day seven, Tuesday. Oh. Oh, eight thirty. Location, bathroom. Day seven, my my. I must think. Uh, this is Linda. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So what are you gonna do? Hmm. Oh. Linda reflects. Uh, okay. Linda is still saved at the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, the dark room, here we go. Day 7, Tuesday. Oh, 9.15. Location, dark room. We get to see what the pictures are of. of. Who is it? So we've got Raquel and Jenny. So it's not something on the lens? Don't think so. You can see through it, right? Yeah. And it doesn't appear on any other shots? Um, no. Then it's probably not on the lens. Okay, that's weird. What? What is it? What the hell's going on? Well, to me, it looks like the house is on fire. Well, just proves I was right. Um, what do you mean? I always said you were hot. Oh, right. Well, that confirms it, 43. It seems Jenny is definitely seeing glimpses from elsewhere on the timeline. Kind of like your visualizer, no? Hmm. I wonder if there is a connection. An interesting development. 
Okay. Raquel helped Jenny develop her strange photograph. Day the seven, pool room. Tuesday. Oh, 9.25. Location, pool room. So, what is it? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely something on the negative. Could be double exposure. But it's only on the last two photos. Which is weird. Never seen anything like it. What did you see when you took it? I didn't see anything. Not really. I could just... It was like I was catching a glimpse of a sound or hearing a colour. Sounds a bit like synesthesia. What's that? Certain people's senses seem to be connected. So when they're listening to music, they might also see colours or they can read a book and taste the words. <laughs> Sounds like the effect of some drug. Well, yeah, but a lot of people have it all the time. It's just normal to them. Usually they're quite surprised when they find out other people don't. OK, but that doesn't explain the photo. No, it does not. Oh. I need new pills or I'm going to stop. Well, maybe I'm sensing something and maybe I'm not. Maybe there's something there and maybe there's not. But I want it gone. So I'm going to get them to change my prescription. Be sure. It could be a gift. If it is, then I don't want it. I'm returning it to the store. Fair enough. Hmm. So, what is it? Hmm. I've never had that, and nor do I want to have it, but it is interesting, isn't it? The idea that you can hear a colour. Strange. Uh, let's change the... to... Uh, I'm going to stop. Zoom, 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 zoom. I think I'm going to need your help. Whatever you need. I'm going to stop taking the pills. Well, they don't seem to be working anyway. Yeah, well, I'm not taking any others either. Okay. And I'm gonna see what happens. But if I get overwhelmed or I can't tell what's real and what isn't... Don't worry. I'll be there to catch you. Oh. Oh. Ah. It, it's probably a good idea if um, you are pregnant anyway to stop taking spend what obviously they're for etc. Tuesday, oh nine forty two, location backyard. Oh, Jenny and Raquel again. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? I I heard something. That you'd been calling that doll of yours Megan? Oh. What have I told you about that day? You told me about Megan running across the road, the car, and that you were holding the doll when it happened. The doll wasn't mine, it was Megan's. She'd just gotten a new one, so she didn't want to play with it anymore. But when I tried to, she said that I wasn't allowed, because the doll had been naughty. It was just some silly game. But to me, the doll was lonely. She'd been discarded, abandoned by her best friend. I couldn't stand it. So I grabbed the doll and I just ran. I was going to save her. I was going to look after her and play with her. I was going to be her friend. I ran straight across the road without looking. Megan chased after me. And that's when the car hit her. 
it was three days before I could even let go of the doll. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to lose you. Oh, you bloody idiot. That's never gonna happen. Get rid of the doll. I can't. You can. You need to. Every time you look at it, you're reopening that wound over and over again. She'd be alive if it weren't for me. You didn't kill her. The guy doing 60 and a 30 zone But it's killed my her. fault. No. No, it's not. You were seven, for Christ's sake. You had no idea that would happen. You were a bloody good friend. Best friend I've ever had. You shouldn't be fucking torturing yourself. Let it go. Let her go. Oh, controlling each other. A lot. You named the doll. Well, there we go. Now we know a little bit more about Raquel. Uh, oh. Day 7, Tuesday, 10 12. Location Raquel's room. Is she going to throw away the doll? Who knows? Well, oh, she's looking at it. We've been together a long time, you and me. But Jenny thinks I should let you go. I think she's right. Oh? Okay, well, we'll keep the doll to begin with, but then we'll get rid of it. But not today. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Alas. Oh, Megan. Get rid of the doll. But you can't go out there with no clothes on. Give me an hour or so, and I'll have a dress for you. Then we'll go down the charity shop and see if we can get you a new family. Oh. Excellent 43. But don't forget, you might have to undo these resolutions to get a better ending for more of the housemates. Hmm. Yeah, that was my fear. But getting a good to go to the charity shop save her though. The basement, okay. Day 7, Tuesday, 1202. Location, basement. I didn't expect Raquel to be the second one that we'd be saving, but apparently it is. Oh! Something down here. Hey! Hello! Got any plans for tonight? Just a little pruning. Well, I was thinking... Uh-oh. I'd like to meet your mum. Oh, well, my pruning was finishing off another batch to take to her tomorrow. Well, you can take me instead. And I'm sure she'd love to see her son and not just her supplier. Uh, tomorrow or tonight? Interesting. I'd better finish here tonight. You're welcome to come along tomorrow. I shall clear my schedule. Hmm. Shall we go see your mum? Uh, let's change it to, to a night and see what happens. We'll just save Tom, perhaps? You know Seems what? unlikely, Why but... Not? Good decision. Then I can weasel all your embarrassing childhood secrets out of her. Wait a minute. Too late. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> it does. Don't forget 43. It's not just these six people you're trying to save here. After 20 generations, the average person can have over a million descendants. Save one life far enough back in time, and you can save the entire human race. Right, but if you save the wrong person, you could effectively 
kill off an entire timeline of people. So, anyway, kitchen. Day 7, Tuesday, 1308. Location, kitchen. Hey, have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? I, uh, I'm gonna be moving out. Oh, man. That's a shame. Mm. Well, it's been really nice having you here. It's been really nice being here, but it was always gonna be temporary, just till I could figure things out. Yeah, I know. So, what are you gonna do? Find a new place or fix my life. Just to find a new place first. Find myself a new place. Somewhere big enough for both me and Kieran. The two of you could stay here. I need some place more permanent, more homey, so I can go for joint custody. Ah, you mean somewhere without piss students and a pool table in the basement? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's understandable. But do you mind if I stay here? Just while I'm looking for somewhere. I'll keep paying you on a week by week basis, if that's all right. Linda, you can stay as long as you need to. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Moving out. Hmm. What happens if we say a new life? Fix my life for her. I'm going home tomorrow, but things are gonna change. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not putting up with it anymore. He can't cook, he can't shop, he's never cleaned or done any laundry in his life. We don't talk or do anything except watch the bloody telly, and he's always too tired to do diddly squat in the bedroom, or hell, in any bloody room, so he either shapes up or he ships out. Wow, you're kicking ass and taking names. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Mm. Oh, she's deceased again. But we'll leave it like that at the moment. Obviously, we plan on saving her, but for now, Day seven, Tuesday, we won't make any. Twenty-one sixteen. Location: Linda's room. We'll leave it as. Wonder why that would be. Why would why would that kill her again? Is that suggesting that Henry would kill her? Or is that suggesting that she would somehow stay behind in the fire? I'm sure it does say in the um Actually let's check that. Now that we've got a definitive we know that Hello, thank you. Ah, oh, not not that. Right, let's check Linda's bio. Uh, Linda. Okay, okay, so she still does die in the fire, so for some, some reason she's still here. So let's, let's read this. Uh, blaming herself for Jenny's death. Jenny's death? Oh, okay, like that of her friend Megan's many years ago, Raquel descended into a spiral of drug and alcohol abuse. She was found dead, oh God, of a drug overdose. Not very long after. Yeah, less than a couple of months, really. Well, anyway. Um, so even if they die, like after the fire, Okay, so my theory on Linda dying doesn't doesn't matter now anyway because we know that it only suggests if they live past the fire, if they die in some other way, it doesn't matter sort of thing. Oh dear. Um. Oh, I don't know here. Uh, what is the... Oh, we've still got quite a bit of time, so let's read some of these. Um, met Tom, that, when he was studying at university, moved in. Met Jenny, started a relationship soon after. 
They, they'd only been together a couple of years. Interesting. Matt Raquel on University. Matt Ben. Okay. Neil. No, it doesn't have much for him yet. Doesn't even say how he met. Doesn't even say how he met Tom. Racked by guilt of the result, fire Tom handled it, handed himself over to the police and confessed. He was charged with possession of intent to supply a manslaughter by gross negligence. He was found guilty and sentenced for five years in prison. Ha! Huh. Is that a spoiler? Is he the one who started the fire to get rid of the... Hmm, I think that was a bit of a spoiler, but... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, whoops. If I can be bothered, I might stick up a, um... A potential spoiler warning there, but... Depends. I might not, because it's, it's in the game, you know, I haven't done anything. Day 7, Tuesday. 2116. Location Linda's room. Why do I leave? <laughs> Idiot. Hello? Oh, there we go. Linda? Hi, Harry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm uh, coming home tomorrow. To stay? To stay. Oh, thank God, I, I... I just... I just want things to go back to how they were. Well, I don't. What? Things are not going back to how they were, Harry. What do you mean? Well, for starters, I'm going to teach you how to use the bloody washing machine. Yeah. Yeah, OK. And I think we need to see a marriage counsellor. OK. Whatever you want. Oh, and, uh, we need to start having sex again. What? But we do. <laughs> it's been six months, Harry. Longer if we only count the times you stayed away for. No. No, it can't be. Can it? It bloody well is, Harry. Shit. Look, I'm sorry. I, mm. I didn't realise. Six months, wow. Mm. Well, it's OK. We'll talk about okay. it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. I'm glad you're coming home. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Hands free packing. <laughs> you have one message. Hey, Lynn. What? I'm sorry about before. I just. I didn't know you felt that way. Look, I really miss you. And if it's me, I can change, I swear. We were good together once. We can get there again. But we should try. At least for Kieran's sake, if not our own, right? But yeah, you're right. We need to talk, proper talk, like to each other and not at each other. So yeah, I know it's late, but if you're still awake, I'd really like to hear your voice. If not, don't worry about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, babe. Was this one what he's here? So May 19th at 10, 12 p.m. I think that's just before the... or whilst the fire's happening, I think. Twenty for May. Yeah, what, what's the time, though? Yeah, it's three hours before. Interesting. I wonder if the fire was happening at that time. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hands free packing when we've watched. 161. Day 7, Tuesday, 2138. Location, Neil's room. Oh, Neil's room. Yeah, idiot. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Looks like one of the drone lights has gone down, 43. 
Senses are telling me it's in the basement. Might want to see if you can get it working again, okay? Okay. That's a bit suspicious. Uh, which... You're right. Yeah, just smack it. Ah, uh, yes. Standard repair technique number four. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. I wonder if perhaps Jenny has seen it and tries to hit it at some point, and that somehow impact is it hmm interesting anyway back to news from wait a minute i looked at all of these probably huh nice being in right there um what about behind these pictures no okay I wonder where Tom does keep the key for his, uh, his special room. Oh, but the student union is so fucking shit. It's like school disco plus. That is the charm, man. It's like proper drinking, but with training wheels. And anyway, Tuesday night is promo night. Oh, what's up? Vodka. And the ladies love the vodka. Oh, all right then. But if it's really shit, then we're moving on. That's all I'm asking, man. Dip your toe in and see how the water is. Okay. Oh, wallet, keys, phone, toes. Let's go. After you, comrade. No, oh, wait a minute. Is this just an excuse so you can try and chat up women with a silly Russian accent? Of course it is. I got a wicked Russian accent, me. It's right up there with Sean Connery. Oh. God, no, I really need a drink. <laughs> Ooh, Disco Plus. Fair enough. Ben and Jenny's room. Day 7, Tuesday, 22.07. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Oh, this doesn't look good. Bathroom's all yours. Jen? Earth to Jen. Come in, oh, Jen. sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? Bathroom's free. Grab it while you can. Right. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Something on your mind? Oh, nothing's wrong. The pills have stopped working. No, just some numbers running around my head. Nothing I've figured out yet. Oh, okay. You said the bathroom was free yeah okay better get in there back in a bit final confession well it wasn't but it will be in a second i'll be able to stop working yeah i think i think my pills have stopped working Oh, right, that's possible, I suppose. You've got massively increased levels of hormones running through you. Uh, how are you feeling? Good. Great, in fact. Yeah, that'll be the hormones as well. We'll get some alternative medication. Th that's the thing. I don't want it. I think that's a bad idea. Why? I've been on these bloody things since I was nine years old. What if I really don't need them? Well, I've talked to your dad, remember? Everything he describes sounds like early onset schizophrenia. Oh, I was grieving for my mum, for Christ's sake. Oh, look, a little girl in pain making a lot of noise. Give her some pills to shut her up. I don't think it was like that. Oh, look. really? Were you there? 
I'm not saying I want to stop for no reason, and I'm not doing it on my own. I've got you, I've got Raquel. She said some of the symptoms I've been having sound like synesthesia. That's unlikely and extremely rare, and Raquel is hardly a medical professional. Oh, fuck I'm you. I'm just saying, let's be on the safe side. We'll get you back on some new medication, and then once that's settled, we could try slowly lowering the dose and see what happens. You're fucking kidding, right? I'm not on anything right now, and you want to drug me back up to my eyeballs. Fuck off. Jen. No, fuck off. I don't even want to look at you right now. Jen. Get out. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, we've got some new events on the timeline. This one changed, I guess, because of this. If I change it back briefly. Yeah, let, let's view this one and then we'll change it back to... Um... Day seven, Tuesday, 2215. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Sleeping tablets? Yeah. Can't seem to get a full night's sleep at the moment. Something on your mind? No. Nothing more than usual. Come to bed, love. Yeah. I'll just go clean my teeth, and I'll be there. Hills and pillows. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's change it back. Oh, not current, you dirty idiot. Okay. Alright, now let's do these ones. Day 7, Tuesday, 22.30. Location, living room. just through the bottle cap. <laughs> Fuck it. <sighs> Alone in the dog house. Ben and Jenny's room. Day 7, Tuesday, 22.32. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Oh, it's just on our own. Making them break up is the way to save them. I hope not. Day 7, but. Tuesday, 23.42. Location, Linda's room. Right. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Hmm. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Time for bed. Well, tomorrow I won't bring anything because you're about to die. Yeah, not far away from it. Uh, still got a little bit more time. Uh, let's see. Event 174. This is the hall. Day 8, Wednesday, 
0108. Location, Hall. Well, well, that was a good night. The lion? <laughs> Bunch of pussies, more like. Ah! Oh, fuck. That'll hurt tomorrow. All of them are talking about tomorrow, as if it happens. Bruised and drunk. In fact, that's, an, what, an hour before? Uh, 118, what, 108, whatever. 154, yeah, it's less than an hour, in fact. Ooh. Out of the backyard. Day 8, Wednesday, 0137. Location, backyard. Wait a minute, it's like 20 minutes before it happens. Crazy. You know, this. I bet they're at it all the time. What? I mean, no jobs. 60 years of pent-up sexual tension, and my God, if you watch daytime telly these days, what else they got? Jigsaws and knitting. Can we not talk about this? And your mum was definitely giving Donny the I'm eye. Not Wait, which one was Donny? Who tie? With the stick? That dirty old man. If he lays a finger on my mother. No, oh, it's been more than a finger. Ugh. Face of Tom, Donny's gonna be your new daddy. Damn you, Donny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tonight. It's been really fun. My pleasure. Oh. Hey, it's all gone dark. What does that mean? It means I need to change the bulb in the kitchen. Oh dear. It's the whole house. The electric must have tripped. No, oh, sorry. I'll go fix it in a bit. So are you staying out here then? Yeah. Good. Any plans? I don't know. You got any ideas? One or two, yeah. Okay. Extra yardage. Hmm, I wonder if the uh, Power going. I wonder if it's this that causes the fire. They may not even been, been on purpose. May have been an accident. Hmm. I mean, this is the most like burnt part of the house. I guess so. There's me thinking it was malicious, and it probably wasn't. The living room. Day 8, Wednesday, 0145. Location, living room. Oh, please don't tell me we're going to see him, like, Hello, die. Oh. Hello, love. I guess you're busy at the moment. Saving lives. Or cleaning bedpans, one or the other. <laughs> I told your father what you said, and he wasn't best pleased. I think he had this dream of forming a dynasty of doctors and he was handing the keys to the kingdom over to you. So, I reminded him about those two years that he spent in Ethiopia. And I suggested that, like father, like son, you might also want to do something with your life before you settled down into a quiet little country practice. He grumbled a bit mostly about how he'll never get his handicap down. But he understands in his own grumbly way. And anyway, while it would have been lovely to see you every day and work alongside you, saying yes would have been too easy, and you've never taken the easy route. So you get out there and do something magnificent. I'm proud of you, and I love you. See you soon, love. Bye. Again, only four hours before the fire. Interesting. Anyway, let's see. Let's hope that we don't see Ben die. Oh, God.
Wake up, man. He's too drunk. He's too drunk. No cure for the dock. Oh dear, that's not pleasant. Um, right, Linda's room. We're going to see what happens to Linda. Oh, it's got dark really fast. Oh, she's asleep as well. Oh my god. Wake up, Linda. She's woken up. Does she realise what's happening? I think... Oh no, she's passing out. Be a little bit over, but we'll watch these two. Day eight, Wednesday, oh one fifty one. Location: Neil's room. He's gonna be too drunk as well, isn't he? Fuck. Wake up. Jenny's room. D8, Wednesday, 0152. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. This is the last one on the timeline. So let's have a look. See what a fire looks like. Can I start it, please? Hello? That's oh, been awkward about placement. Hmm, <coughs> not good. Wake up! <coughs> Grab her 43, just rock her about. Oh, she's holding her stomach. Hmm. All by myself. Oh. Okay, well that was the last event on the timeline. We can uh, start thinking about changing things. Ooh, I don't even know where to start. Um, got no idea how we save Neil. I guess um, he doesn't get drunk when he goes out, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, this is interesting. So in this one we've saved Tom and Raquel. Although saving Raquel is a bit of a... Uh, it's not fair, not really correct, is it? I mean, she kills herself a few months later. Um, what will happen with Tom? Oh, that's right, he handed him... Yeah, he was charged with possession, intent to supply, and manslaughter by gross negligence. Right, so that's... The gross negligence is because of the... Um, the box that exploded and caught fire. The power box. Hmm, okay, well, even though we know what the what caused the fire now, I don't know how we solve it, but that's fine. We can um, start messing about with the timeline and seeing. I think next time we won't actually think about saving people just yet. I think we're just trying our best to uncover the other events that we haven't viewed yet. Yeah, anyway... Very interesting. Things are heating up. No pun intended. 
uh yeah so i hope you've enjoyed have a good day everyone have a good speak to you soon bye